Well, any real property to be held uh, for productive use trade business or for investment will qualify. Something that, that comes up uh, more often today than, than in recent times is properties that are, are flipped. So we need to be careful that it's something to be held for investment instead of resale. And people are always wanting a, a minimum uh, required hold period for a property and, and that would qualify for 1031. And we really don't have one. If it's a related party transaction, then there's a two-year minimum hold for those transactions. But if it's a an arm's length transaction, non-related party, there's no required stated minimum hold in the code. Well, as of uh, January 1, 2018, we used to be able to do uh, transactions of uh, uh, like all the fun stuff, cars, boats, planes, uh, businesses, artwork, other things. And we lost the ability to handle transactions of those assets as of January 1 with tax reform. So when we're looking at, at that, uh, what qualifies for real property, when I started this business uh, with my brother in 1991, I had a little more hair on my head and, and, and people would look at me. I was a little younger in those days, over 26 years ago. And people would say, well, I remember when like kind on real property you know, would be a, a direct application, true like kind, house for house, land for land, and it's really never been the case. So, you know, contrary to popular belief, there really hasn't been any changes if we look at what is you know, like kind, what qualifies for 1031 treatment on real property.